Liz, let's get pregnant. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> strong no but let's talk about people who do want to get pregnant and how ai may be able to help them fantastic this is from cnn health uh, jacqueline howard july 3rd a couple tried for 18 years to get pregnant and ai made it happen so columbia university fertility center used a new ai system called star which stands for go ahead it stands for Sperm Tracking and Recovery. Excellent. Star helped a couple with 18 years of infertility that was due to azoospermia achieve pregnancy. So azoospermia, I believe, is what? Not having enough sperm? Something. <laughs> not having enough swimmers. Enough viable sperm. So go ahead. Uh, the man provided a sample. <laughs> Like a musical sample, like waka waka waka. <sighs> the man provided a semen sample. Thank you, Doctor Rada. The audience needs to understand. I know. <laughs> and Star scanned eight million images to find two to three hidden viable sperm missed by human eyes. Doctors then used ICSI, which is a form of IVF, to inject the sperm directly into eggs, leading to a successful pregnancy. That, that's pretty cool. So in other words, the way they've done this historically is that you have the sample and then you're sort of using human eyes to find the swimmers, I believe you said with the technical term. Yes. And here these are like, these are hidden sperm that the AI has detected. Yes. That's kind of cool. That are the most viable. Love it. So it's great. So this is a non-invasive approach that could replace painful surgical retrieval for some men, but it signals a game-changing AI application in male infertility care while still requiring validation. 